ride with me as I do a neighborhood drive through tour of Piccoli Ranch. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Welcome to my neighborhood drive through series. In this series, I like to drive through all the neighborhoods in the Las Vegas Valley. And today we are gonna to be touring Piccoli Ranch. A few years back, I've done a video on Piccoli Ranch and I thought it was time to update this video and also just drive around the neighborhood. Last time I did this video, um, it was not really a drive around neighborhood. So the goal is to drive around, show you the different neighborhoods in Piccoli Ranch and also show you the amenities that Piccoli Ranch has to offer. Right now I am on Hualapai. So Piccoli Ranch is just east of Summerlin. It's actually east of the Faith Lutheran um, private school and church right there to the right. So we're going on Hualapai and we're heading southwest on Hualapai. We're going to take a left up here coming up. So Pocoli Ranch is a 640 acre master plan community. It is technically on the west side of the valley and um, this is called Home Stretch, which I'll be taking a left. Homes were built between 1999 or 1990s to 2000, so that's good. They have gated and non-gated neighborhoods in Piccoli Ranch. And Piccoli Ranch is also super close to the lakes, which is another master plan community. Watch my YouTube channel for a video on the lakes neighborhood. We're just gonna take a left right here just to show you some of the neighborhoods. Um, I've sold a home, I had a listing over here on the left-hand side at one point in time. It's a gated community and then there's non-gated. So we'll just drive around Piccoli Ranch and see what this community has to offer. So Piccoli Ranch has multiple family complexes from condos to budget-friendly single-story homes and they also have duplexes and townhomes. Piccoli Ranch also has 46 acres of tree-lined paseos and 284 acres of that 640 acres are of common areas. They have uh, a beautiful common park and they also have a disc golf course here in this community which is pretty nice. So we're going to take a right right here on Grand Canyon. Park. This is a gated community. I am going to hang out behind this person to get in so we can take a video of the houses here in this community, hopefully. <laughs> mm. Yep, we got in. Let's see what it's all about. It is Tuesday, so it looks like it's trash day in Piccoli Ranch. Now here in Las Vegas, trash days, oh, and this community has its own community pool, which is nice. Um, in Vegas, we only have one day that's a trash day, and that's for both trash and recycle. You get a trash and a recycle bin. And then once a, every other week, we have bulk days. And the, um, I think bulk day for this neighborhood will be not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. But by the time you watch this video, you're not going to know what Tuesday I'm talking about. But know <laughs> that bulk days are every other week, which is a very good thing to have 
I love bulk days, especially if you're just moving into a home and you have a lot of boxes to get rid of, or if you're spring cleaning and you want to get rid of a lot of stuff, bulk days are the bomb. So this, when it's trash day, it doesn't make the neighborhood look so pretty, but I will try to get some video footage of this neighborhood anyways. look like typical 90s and 2000 year homes. There's the community pool right there. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to go over how much the homes cost in this community just because you may watch this two years from now, ten years from now, and things change consistently, especially when it comes to prices. So I never like to go over how much neighborhoods cost because then that would really outdate my video. people don't know that actually Queens Ridge is part of Pacoli Ranch. I will be doing a separate video tour of Queens Ridge um, because it's just a different neighborhood but it's still part of Pacoli Ranch. Um, I don't know if you can see in my mirror the sign and then there's a big sign right here but I'm just gonna flip around and then continue driving in this community. So the non-gated communities here in Piccoli Ranch is Canyon Hills, Canyon Ridge, Canyon Springs, Canyon Trails, Canyon Vista, Heritage Estates, Mountain View, Piccoli Highlands, Polo Greens, The Palms, The Summit, and Tuscany Hills. I will show you a picture of the sign. I don't know if you can see it. I'll take a picture of it and show it to you guys. So the gated communities here in Piccoli Ranch is Ascot Park, Camden Oasis Del Mar, Churchill Estates, La Ventana, Premier Court Estates, Siena Ridge, Stone Ridge, the Talavera, Wellington Meadows, and Wellington Park. living in Piccoli Ranch is that it is super close to downtown Summerlin. A lot of people like it and um, some people may think that Piccoli Ranch is Summerlin but in reality it is not. It is its own master plan community but it has easy access to all the Summerlin amenities which is nice. So they have a school right here. I don't know what the name is. I can't read it. Clarence Piggott Academy of something. All right, here is the Clubhouse and Community Center. I'm going to stop and get out, and we're going to take a tour of it. Okay, just parked, and it's right next to the school. They have tennis courts right here, and it looks like they have two lighted tennis courts. So this... Uh, as it says in my notes that these tennis courts were newly repaired. And basically this is really not a clubhouse. I think this is where the HOA people are located. Looks 
looks like they have a newly installed public restaurant or restroom. This restrooms are updated and is newly installed. And then this park, newly designed playground, completely shaded and has the rubberized padding while offering many enjoyable components. And the sand volleyball court right there. Let's go take a look at this park. It's bright out. And I like that that's soft right here. It's a nice park. And I like that throughout Piccoli Ranch, there's miles of these walking paths throughout the community, which is really, really nice. See right here, which I'm going to stop at another place. Um, I think they have like little fitness stations as well throughout the whole Paseo. And then two of the gated communities actually has um, Grand Canyon and Wellington Park. Both have volleyball or bocce ball courts. So that's pretty cool. They do not have a community pool in this master plan community, which is kind of sad. I think a lot of people like to have community pools. A little picnic area with the barbecue thing. Alrighty. Oh well, look, they have community patrol as well. All right guys, I'm gonna go to the car and continue driving around Piccoli Ranch. See you on the flip side. What'd you guys think of that park? I thought it was a pretty nice park. I like when communities have parks in it. All right, now we're gonna check out some more of Coley Ranch. There's a lot of cars here and there's nobody. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Whoops. One time I was doing a video in this community, I actually saw a coyote, which is kind of interesting. subdivisions in this community. story homes. Three car garages. Looks nice. Yeah, that one's very nice. That's good to know. I like driving around neighborhoods and that way I also find out about where there are single story communities because um, a lot of my clients like single story homes. So this is a very nice community. Let's see if I went this way. It's gonna take me through, is it a cul-de-sac? Wow, look at those two houses. They look big too. They don't look small.
is where the disc golf course is. Right here. It's a very nice walking path. All right, folks, I'm going to get out and video this walking path. Okay, I'm over here at one of the paseos here in Pacoli Ranch, and this is the one of the stations for the disc golf. Looks like number one. And um, I think the disc golf has a DGA acceptance or association, whatever that means. Here's one of the exercise stations. We'll see more as we go. Oh, this is two. I see, this is cool. So then you throw the frisbee and try to hit wherever one of those guys are. Just like golf, but with a frisbee. That's why they call it disc golf or disc golf, I guess. So it's an 18 hole disc golf course that runs through the community and is especially popular with families and meanders through the community's extensive walking trails, as well as private tennis courts. And they also have volleyball courts. And then, like I mentioned, they have exercise stations throughout, little park benches throughout, little bridges. It's very beautiful. Big is strong. That's a newer bench. Unfortunately, there's no ponds or lakes in this community. Dog friendly. And see these trails lead up to the community, to your neighborhood. Someone's on a roof. It'd be kind of cool if this was real water right here. I like this tunnel. You can hear my clickety clacking of my shoes, the echo. Oh, cool. So this leads to the community center and park where we were just at. I think they must have moved the disc golf because I remember having the course over here. It looks like it's going the other way. Anyway, folks, I'm going to head back to the car. I'll see you on the flip side. It's a guy playing disc golf. Where it goes, nobody knows. It's kind of cool. No, he hasn't thrown it. See a little... It'd be kind of crazy if you're playing disc golf and you hit somebody. Oh, he has more. Huh. It's a lot smaller frisbee. Cool. That was actually fun that I caught somebody playing disc golf. I've never seen anyone play disc golf before, so that was pretty cool. Um, pretty much this wraps up our tour of Pacoli Ranch. Let me know in the comments what you think of Pacoli Ranch. If you live in Pacoli Ranch, let us know what you love about living in this master plan community. If you want to learn more about Pacoli Ranch, you can go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com and scroll up to the right where it says neighborhoods, scroll down to the west side and select Pacoli Ranch. I have done a lot of research on Piccoli Ranch and all the homes for sale in Piccoli Ranch are also on my website. So 
but good information to learn if you want to learn more about it. If you're thinking about buying here in this community, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. As always, you know what to do, right? Hit that like button, share, and most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.